Hey friends, I think you're going to love today's show. We loved putting it together for you as we always do here in the studio. Barb is here. Barb Long of Long Life Unlimited is here. Uh, she's talking about a shea butter based product. Now you could take shea butter alone, but when you began making it proprietary with what she adds, dynamic products that she has, and she has a lot of them, we'll discuss all those. Daniel Crouch is going to be here. Then I'm going to do a little segment, why didn't we know this about drugs? And that begs the question, are we on our own when it comes to wellness? All that and more on today's Know the Cause. This program is brought to you by Long Life Unlimited, national distributors of TKO and Rafa Remedy. My name is Doug Kaufman. For the past 40 years, I've dedicated my life and even my career to finding the root cause of disease. Join me and a team of physicians, pharmacists, and scientists. And soon you too will know the cause. Oh, Barb Long. We were just talking, by the way, before we went on the air. She has wanted, I've known her 20 years, she's wanted a 1957 T-Bird turquoise color with the portholes. And she said, Frank, one day is going to get her that car. Um, thank you for joining us, Barb. Thank you for coming all the way in from Ohio. I'll never forget years ago when you and Frank set up that town hall meeting. And Dr. Holland and Jamie and I would go out there and lecture. Dr. Holland. And, and there were thousands of people in Lima, Ohio. Yep. 16, that was your, one of your biggest ones, 1,600 people. I mean, this was amazing in Lyme, Ohio. So you get ready for 50 <laughs> people, right? You wear the appropriate attire for 50 people, and you get there, and there's 15, 1,600 people. That was a lot of fun in the old days. Then you didn't have shea butter, dare I say, Rafa. Um, teach us a little bit about, because I walk into a grocery store now, and I see shea butter. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the difference between that butter and what you have in these products. Shea butter, and people say that all the time. Well, I can get shea butter, and you see these programs on TV, and well, we've got we've got 5%, or we've got 10%. This is like 95% shea butter. And it, you're not buying just shea butter, you're buying Rafa Remedy that has a proprietary blend of essential oils in there that the Lord gave me. It's going on, this is our 14th year. 14 years yep. you've had this product. Yep. So what is shea butter? Shea butter is a nut butter that comes like you would see coconut, you know, they make coconut oil and that. This is uh, from the Kariti plant, Kariti tree mm -hmm. and uh, in Africa. And uh, it's emollient. It helps seal moisture in. It helps protect the skin. It has all kinds of medicinal qualities of its own. I, but this uh, is added. This is what God showed me to do with it. Well, you've, so tell folks what you, you had, you came up with a basic, what was your first one? Shea the first and one is, is the middle one there. No, nope, one this. over. Yep. Okay. And that is the original and they all have the original in it. But what we were doing is I was studying the properties of delimiting because we had TKO yep. and people wanted to use that because they knew it was antifungal, antiparasitic and all the antis you talk about, <laughs> and they were putting it on their skin, and it's too harsh for that, and it's a, sold as a cleaner. It is not the same. So I was, uh, Dr. Hunt had told me about um, Dr. Uh, oh, Michael Gould in the University of Wisconsin was studying what delimiting did under microscope for against cancer and different things. And so I was praying for a witty invention, and God gave me one, and how you could use it topically. And the little story is, big story now, is that my mother went in for surgery, had a hip replacement surgery, and when she came out, my mother had staph. But in the hospital, you don't talk about staph that. You, right. In those days, you talked, it was, a, you know, the people who worked for you. And uh, she came home, and they were using cortisone and uh, all kinds of antibiotics and things on her, and it was getting worse. It was from a banded. Band-Aid, it wasn't even a shot or a hole or nothing. And so it was expanding, and so the nurse came in, and I said I had taken, I was still studying and took the, the ingredients with me to play with on a trip to mm -hmm. take care of my mom for a month in Arizona. And uh, the nurse said, um, 
I said, could I try this experiment? Nothing was working. It had been two weeks since she had the surgery, and it was she was all galled. It was horrible. She said, go ahead. Nothing's working. So use your product. None of our cortisone seems to be working. No. Okay. And so a very unusual, but God did it. And and he, because he is unusual. And the same nurse came in the next day and she said, what was that potion your, your daughter used on you? And this is 75% better. I called you and you said, you go girl. <laughs> and so you helped me because I had no confidence. I didn't know. I'm not a rocket scientist. Obviously you see that. But um, I think it works, and science. God's done amazing things with us. Barb, um, people in hospitals are vulnerable to germ infections. We think of decubitus ulcers, people sitting on their tailbone for days and days and days at a time. I, we're not making health claims here, but if I have a loved one in a hospital, okay, that's going with me. Always check with the nurses, but this is something topical. You don't need it. And rub it on, as I tell my grandkids, boom booms. Now, when we get back, <laughs> we're going to teach you it's not just D-limonene in there anymore. She has added other things to the shea butter that I think you need to know about, and then I'll tell you how to get it. Thanks, Barb, for coming in. We'll be right back with more. Okay, Barb Long is back with me. You guys remember Barb and Frank Long. They've been on this show as long as the show's been on, uh, 19 years on television. That's a long, long time we've been together. Today we're talking about really their premier property, uh, the combination of shea butter and added ingredients, kind of a proprietary blend. We've talked a little bit about D-limonene. We haven't talked about the myrrh product. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a this is a good one. Tell Frankincense us. Frankincense and myrrh. Yeah. Frankincense and myrrh is about two years old this year, and... Uh, I, I was just fascinated with it. You know, I've had brain insult injury. I've been in mm -hmm. accidents and things. But um, frankincense has tremendous abilities to go past the blood-brain barrier, does things with the brain. So not only uh, having it, smelling it, and using it that way, but it's also people are using it for pain. And uh, I think we're referring to the one about the doctor. She said I could use her. Yes. Yeah. And and I had this doctor's office call. It was new people, and they were asking me a thousand questions, and that's normal, and I don't mind. And I write people's testimonies down, but it sounded, a, honest to God, it just sounded a little far-fetched. And so I'm writing down the testimony, and I'm uh, talking to this woman, and she said, you sent me this sample of the frankincense and myrrh, and she said I had an exposed um, nerve in my tooth, and she said, my dentist was gone for two, two uh, weeks, and I didn't know what to do. And I put it on my face, and all the pain went away in my tooth. And I'm thinking, I don't ever want to lead anybody in a wrong direction. And so I thought, I'm not going to write this down. And so it's the truth. So anyway, so she's talking, and she's going on and on and on. And I said, well, did you put it on the tooth? And she said, no, I put it on, the fa on my face over mm -hmm. the area. And she said, all the pain went away, and my dentist doesn't understand it two weeks later, and neither do I. And I said, well, God does amazing things. I don't know what else to tell you. It's his product, and, um, and uh, I appreciate you, what you told me. And, and she kept talking, and she said, well, I am the naturopath. And here I was talking to the doctor. I thought I was talking to a lady in the office. She obviously and so knew I what don't she was doing. Right? Yeah, she knew what she was getting at and that it had good, you know, what she was saying. So Barb and Frank get to hear this all the time, folks, with these products. This is Rafa Remedy and in various uh, additions to them. Um, it's one thing to hear it from Barb. It's one thing to hear it from a naturopath or Doug Kaufman. I hear all these stories. It's a whole other thing to hear it from a guy who has an active state pain problem going on. Uh, listen to what Thomas says. My name's Tom, and I'm from Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And you just stopped in the well We just stopped in, yes. And you want to give your testimony real quick? Sure. I just uh, came down with shingles about two days ago and incredible burning and itching around my eye and part of my forehead and uh, thought I would see if there's anything here for shingles and I've got the uh, yeah rough <laughs> and I applied some and the itching has gone away the itching is a lot like a bee sting it just doesn't quit until you itch it well uh, it's, it has not itched since I put the Rafa on about 20 30 minutes ago which is more relief I've had in the last four or five days just pages and pages of information, a, a brochure. In their catalog, they have a lot of information on the Rafa. 
Um, and folks, when you order, this catalog will come to you, you know, free of charge. A uh, lot of good things, hundreds of products in these. Barb, why are there, uh, Thomas blew me away. Can you imagine after suffering for five days from no. something, putting a little topical on and having the yeah. sting like a bee sting clear up? Man, that means everything. Myrrh and frankincense, D-limonene, and I know you've put other things mm -hmm. as I read through here. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, frankincense and myrrh has a lot of different properties. They all have the basic uh, uh, Rafa remedy in it with the delimonene, and we know it's antifungal, antiparasitic. You can use it. Um, we've had people have great results, even with the regular original one, for psoriasis and eczema and diaper rash and all kinds of wrinkles and mm -hmm. all kinds of things. But we've got people that need something a little bit faster. That's when the Lord showed me to put the oregano, super strength oregano from North American Urban Spice is in that and a lot of it. And we use it for people with bed sores down to the bone that nothing works. We've used it for all kinds of other issues. We've got one that you would use the uh, Rafa Freeze for plantar fasciitis. Just different oils have different properties that just boost it to go in another direction. The Rafa Freeze is really an exciting one. Folks, always, th this isn't to treat a health problem. Always work with your health care provider and take in this little guy and say, would you mind if I use this? Look at the label. It's all <laughs> safe, okay? Barb, you're awesome. Long <laughs> life unlimited. Uh, long live, long life unlimited. Thank you for coming That's in today. nice of you. To see nice that. to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, coming up right now, Daniel's going to teach us about vitamin D, sunlight, and so forth. And then afterwards, I'm going to do a little segment, why didn't we know this? We're always told, be careful about walking into a health food store and taking those supplements, no regulations. What about a drug store or a pharmacy? Here we go. Hey, have you guys checked this book out? It is pretty amazing. I would really recommend it. Outside, really sunny day, feels nice, and you know it makes you wonder how important is the sun to us in our, our ecosystem. I mean, you think about it, you have food, you have water, you have air, and you obviously have sunlight, and it's what makes the plants grow, and it's what actually makes us grow. And there are a couple things I wanna tell you about the benefits of sunlight. Number one, sunlight can help you to fight off seasonal affective disorder, or SAD. And the reason that we get sad is because we don't have enough sunlight and so our bodies can't get the serotonin, which actually comes from when the sunlight hits your retina, your body releases serotonin. And if you think about it, it kind of makes sense because they've done studies in some of the more Nordic cultures where they have a higher incidence of irritability, uh, depression, um, and just overall general sickness, sometimes even a propensity for alcoholism. Whereas if you compare that to a culture that's more along the equator, they don't have those struggles and strife. So, you know, maybe there's something to it. As a matter of fact, the Greeks had something called heliosis, which today we call heliotherapy, which is just sunlight therapy. And, you know, aside from the fact that it makes you feel good with serotonin, it can actually help you with your bone density. Now we're talking about vitamin D here, which as we all know, can come from mushrooms, but since none of us eat mushrooms because they are a fungus, then where are we going to get our vitamin D from? Well, you get it from the sun. So it helps to create uh, strong bones. It helps to prevent osteoarthritis, uh, osteosclerosis, um, and anything else that can ha cause a weakening of the bones. It also helps rickets in children. So sunlight, again, is super important in building a strong body. And here's maybe even the most interesting thing is at all, is that it can even help you to eradicate disease. Uh, they've had some forms of cancer uh, and overall skin disorders, as well as other just diseases or malaise go away when you sit in the sunlight just for five to 15 minutes per day. It doesn't take a lot. You don't have to sunbathe for hours. But if you think about the lux or the measurement of light that comes from the sun is 100,000 units. And when you're sitting under your desk at work, it's 150 to 600 units. So think about the vast difference that you get from real natural sunlight. So maybe just going outside for your lunch break, sitting in the sun, receiving the energy that comes from our ecosystem that is so uh, imperative for us to stay healthy and balanced. Get a good book, be out in nature, and know the cause of your health. And so hopefully these things will help you out. I certainly know I feel much better. Talk to you guys next time. Hey guys, you remember those ads on TV for Viax and Celebrex? Remember Celebrex, Celebrex, dance to the music. You know, these ads, these drug ads. They're gone, poof, those drugs are gone. Seems they hurt a lot of people or worse. Who's protecting us? 
I've done shows on the way antibiotics and needles are thrown at us the second we walk into a doctor's office, right? They better if they want to keep that license. I'm telling you folks, they're beholden. They're good people, my gosh, twice my IQ, tremendous integrity, really smart kids in high school that went on to college, became doctors, really, really smart. But they learn there's a clip onto that degree. And that clip is you better take the drug companies with you, reach in. I bet you on graduation they all, they have this exercise. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, you better write prescriptions. Did you know these headlines existed? Ibuprofen, which is Advil, uh, Advil and Motrin, linked to male infertility. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why, I thought the FDA was there to protect us. We've heard about the dangers of some of these drugs, right? These drugs we can walk into a store and pick up. Some of them have been taken off the market. That we can walk into a drugstore and pay some exorbitant price for a cough medicine and they've taken out the ingredients. Ibuprofen, so young men in their 20s who are in a lot of pain because they work hard all day, taking ibuprofen and now they're infertile. Why weren't we protected? ADHD drug, attention deficit with hyperactivity disorder, tied to heart defects in babies? First of all, what in the world? Once again, the goal in medicine seems to be to take a child, I call it being a little boyitis, they call it attention deficit with hyperactivity. I probably had this disease so bad as a little boy, just very inquisitive, right? A drug tied to heart defects in babies, you think that's gonna stop pediatricians from prescribing it? Think about it. Drug company, hook, you better not quit prescribing. Common birth control, this in Africa, common birth control shot linked to risk of HIV infection. Did you know that? How safe is your birth control? I mean, folks, we've got to start thinking beyond the doctor's office. Sure, we trust our doctor, and he trusts the American Pharmaceutical Association. Look, sometimes drugs, birth control, ibuprofen, I've never taken that stuff, but sometimes that might be necessary. I understand that. All I'm saying is, who's protecting you? Because the doctor doesn't know this stuff. That's where know the cause comes in. How about this one? English researchers have discovered Mutations in a gene related to obesity. Okay, ask yourself this question. What do we know induces genetic mutations? Fungus and their mycotoxins. What makes bread rise? Is it making us rise? That same yeast? I think it is, and I published on that. And then finally, antibiotic use in hospitals may be associated with increased susceptibility. That's their words. Here's my words. The more antibiotics hospitals prescribe, the more antibiotic resistance is seen. Things like MRSA, methicillin resistant, staph aureus infections. The more hospitals pass it, and by the way, they're not gonna stop. Oh, this isn't a warning to stop. This is just teaching the doctor. Seems the more antibiotics we hand out, the more antibiotic resistance. Oh, we're all gonna die one day. And finally, mycotoxins, this was a headline. The invisible danger for livestock. The invisible danger for law. I'm sure worried about my squirrels and, you know, that beaver out in the dam. What about us? Shh. Antibiotics are mycotoxins. Don't go away. You know, in the beginning of the show, there's Barb sitting with shea butter. Shea butter. And maybe a little oregano or you know, another harmless herb in it. And then Thomas's testimonial, my gosh, with shingles, he's out of pain for half an hour. He hadn't been out of pain in five days. Folks, we're turning more and more to natural therapies, but can I tell you something? There is a way to prevent much of what we're suffering from. You know, I was reading in a Forbes magazine a couple of years ago, and I want to quote it. Alarmingly, medical errors are now the third leading cause of death in our country. As many as a quarter of all patients are harmed by medical mistakes. Going to a hospital, we have no way of knowing if we're gonna get good care or be one of the 100,000 patients killed or the nine million Americans harmed each year by medical mistakes. Kids, we're kinda on our own out there. And it's not so much in staying well as in making prudent decisions when we go to a doctor. We feel that because a doctor has four more years of education than many Americans, uh, that they know all. 
And folks, I'm here to tell you I have a lot of friends who are doctors. They are wonderful people. But if you've got to see 40, 50 patients a day, by the 49th, you're a little tired and you're a little agitated. I have a lot of respect for doctors. The point is, we're kind of on our own. You're going to be handed a prescription. You're not going to be talked about anything to do with diet or supplementation. To many physicians, that's just a waste of time. To a gastroenterologist, for a guy who studies the gut and the stomach and the colon, to say there's no link with colon disease and diet is crazy. That's like a mechanic saying there's no link between your engine and why your car won't run. Of course there is, folks. And that's what this segment is all about. We each represent a thumbprint. So many of us have heard, well, I took vitamin D and resveratrol, and I ate pumpkin every day, and my migraines went away, and you go home and do the same thing, and it doesn't work a bit. We are thumbprints. We're each unique. As such, it becomes incumbent upon us, not a doctor, or a third party, or a fourth party. You're going to go to a doctor to get a drug or get a shot. They're not going to know the cause, folks. They're not trained to know the cause. Good people have no background in understanding the cause. The flu just blew here, or airplanes picked it up and wham, it got here. Their job is to erase symptoms six to eight hours at a time until you take another pill. As you heard in the previous segment, there's some downside to popping all of these pills. What do I do? I'll be 69 years old uh, this year. I go out in my backyard with my maxi climber and my weights and my stair stepper and so forth. And I do 20, 22 minutes a few times a week of exercise, right? I eat differently than old guys. I follow the Kaufman 1 slash Kaufman 2 diet. I take lots of supplements. Man, I'm an experimenting machine. But I try and take the beta-glucan, vitamin C, the good stuff on a regular basis to stay well. And I agree, that's Doug's thumbprint, not yours. Your job to stay healthy and stay out of a hospital or a doctor's office is to find your thumbprint. What is it you should take every day? You'll find it, may take a few months, start with the Kaufman diet and build everything else upon that. Okay, that's a wrap. Thank you, Barb, for coming in and teaching us about the shea butter base essential oils in your products, Rafa Remedy. They have TKO and a bunch of other products. Thank you, Daniel, for teaching us about sunlight. Sometimes the sun doesn't come out, right? Good time to supplement with, I take vitamin D3. Uh, what'd you think of this? We're kind of on our own. Look, if I wake up and there's blood on my sheets, I'm going to a doctor. But what I'm trying to do is prevent that. And I think a certain lifestyle can help with that. God bless you guys. Thanks for joining us today. Tell a friend about Know the Cause.